Hi, everyone. My name is Victor Palacios. I am really happy to present my Kaggle X project, which is called My Story. So a little bit about me. Uh, I consider myself a data scientist. I have about three plus years of data science experience, and I am currently the director of data science partnerships at the University of San Francisco. Uh, what that means is that I help uh, data science students get matched up with data science companies and do work there. So it's a kind of combination of education, sales, and a little bit of data science. So I'm very grateful for this opportunity to show more of my technical skills. So if I had to describe my project in one sentence, I would say it is a chat bot for children. And I got the inspiration by working with my nephew. He wanted me to read to him. And so I quickly decided to get a bot to generate images and another bot to generate stories for us. And this got me thinking, what about these other kinds of stories that I used to read when I was a child where you could have a story and then make decisions on what to do next? So I could go to page 18 or I could go to page 27 and choose what I was gonna do. Could I make something similar for children? So that's where this topic comes in. I wanted to work with a small language model, particularly Gemma 2B. I wanted a conversational chatbot, not a Q&A system. So I wanted the chatbot to remember the story and then to build off of it. And then I also wanted to have synthetic data generation as part of this project so that I could control exactly what was going into my model and have different topics like magic and morality if I wanted to. Some things that I learned, uh, number one was degeneration. So this was really interesting. If you only give your model uh, a few samples, say 100 or so, and you try to fine tune it, it can do very interesting things. Uh, so for instance here, this story seems okay at first. There's an acorn and there's someone named Nutkin who's collecting these acorns. But very quickly, the story breaks down and it just repeats itself, right, with few examples. Uh, and so when you fine tune like this, it doesn't really work. So I had to go up a little bit. And for me, this was kind of a Megan moment where the AI was doing something strange and I didn't really know exactly why. So, but I knew I needed more data. Uh, so what I did instead was I went ahead and took my stories. I had about 200 stories and they were of the type like this. The child speaks and then the robot speaks. The child speaks and the robot speaks, right? A, B, A, B. And I decided to break those down because that is what another uh, LLM told me to do. So I broke these down. So instead of having one row with my original story, I now had three rows that had pieces of my story. So story one, one, we call it, will be A and B. Story one, two will be A, B, A, B. So there is repetition of the story in my data set. But anyways, this allows me to go from 200 rows to actually 900 plus rows. So now I have a big enough data set uh, to train with. So I try it out and it does end up working. So it says here, like once there was a friendly dragon named Spark, would you like to hear? And then it keeps going on. And I just give a one word answer. I wanna hear, right? And the story continues. It works out really well. I can even interrupt the story. I can say, what is this word? What is bouncy? And then the model responds, bouncy is soft and springy, right? Um, and then it does other interesting things. It begins kind of creating new concepts like a cloud buddy. And I'm like, what's a cloud buddy? Um, and it means for in this particular story that someone you can hang out with, right? That's kind of big and floating friend. Um, and so it's generating this idea and then I looked in my training and I actually didn't have this kind of concept of making a cloud your friend. Uh, so that, I thought that was really cool that the large language model was able to do that. Uh, here is my project link. So Colab, you can see all of my data because it's synthetic. I left it right in the Colab. So you can go ahead and look at that. And you can see my project's links uh, and how I set up uh, Langchain in order to create uh, the memory that I needed for the system. Thank you so much for your time and attention.